Pisces and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 23rd guys. I know with everything that's going on, a lot of energy moving around and a lot of it is other people's energy too. So especially for my water signs, I really, really suggest cutting your cords, clearing your aura, your chakras. I mean, you can do that. I mean, I have a free link down below. I'm giving it to everybody. Cord cutting release work. You can sage and Palo Santo, sea salt bath the best and if possible get outside the natural negative ions of the earth pull this heavy energy out guys so clear cut because we can feel very overwhelmed especially if you're empathic so first things first before making any decisions or moves let's clear all that out to decompress let's align because all of us you know all of us souls bring this beautiful unique gifts and abilities and talents and it's nothing like these kinds of energy that's really calling and pulling it out of us. So clear, cleanse first, get grounded, calm down, get focused. All right, now this is for Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. So please be sure to check all three. And if this is your first time watching me, thank you. If this serves you or resonates or helps you in some way, please like, subscribe, comment down below. I really do appreciate it. All right, Pisces, let's just take a deep breath in. Let's get started. And just so you know, I'm, I'm asking for guidance for the week of March 23rd, but also from a, mic, a macro perspective, how the energy of Pisces is being called at this time to really step forward and step up. So let's see. Giving guidance for the energy of Pisces for the week of March 23rd. Ooh, I'm feeling a block in my throat guys. Okay, one more. <laughs> okay, we have the Six of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Decision Card, the Magician, the Page of Cups, the Strength Card, the Chariot, the Change Your Life. These purple ones are major arcanas, guys. There's some big wig cards, but this is a good thing. Starting out the gate, you know, I'm seeing this a lot. I've done all 12 signs, you guys, are my last one. And man, this is not a week of passivity at all. We really are being guided to move, to take action, to create, to communicate, to connect, to collaborate, to change, to transform. And I know the butterfly caterpillar thing is super cliche, but think about it this way. Where the phoenix might burst into flames and come back as a phoenix, right? What's really happening with us, guys, we are transforming from one form, from one focus, from one idea to something completely new. All of us, right? So it's an ascension process here. Now, the six of wands, the two of wands. Pisces, this is a, an incredible week of focus, collaboration, creativity. So an example of this could be new projects. This could be with work. This could be with school. This could be with your own ideas. But when you have the six of wands, it's like you're on it. This is congratulations, promotion, just recognition in some way. You've been doing good, Pisces, and now the universe is saying, all right, what's my next project? What's my next goal? My next vision? You guys are being driven and not alone. You have the two of wands. So you might be getting really inspired to in your next moves, your next ideas, you know, so you're looking for solutions and how can we grow, evolve, adapt? You're meant to do this with other people. So you might be noticing this week, you're connecting more, communicating more, people are reaching out, you're reaching out, linking up and recognizing how we can actually move forward long-term goals, visions, drives, and make this an actual reality. Now you do have the 10 of wands afterwards. So do your best not to burn out Pisces. Some of us, as water signs, and I don't want to get stereotypical here, but we are more emotional in nature. It'd be different if you can compartmentalize like some of the air signs, but it doesn't tend to be one of our gifts, right? So we can get overwhelmed, like excited, like, yeah, I got to do this and do that and do that. But then sometimes we get overwhelmed with our mission. I got to get this done because this really needs help, but they're depending on me. Calm down. With a 10 of wands, your immune system can crash. Not trying to scare you, but stress. Like when you get stressed, right? You get exhausted, you get headaches like that. Do your best not to burn the candle at both ends. You have the decision with the magician card. Don't hold back. You're going to notice as you're getting excited and making moves, you're going to lose a little confidence. What if I can't? 
If you want something great, new, different, you got to do something great, something new, something different. So you have to make the decision, Pisces, because you're the one who will hold yourself back. Nobody else. Nothing else. Don't be like, well, I'm limited because of this, this, and that. I don't want to hear it because we can do things here, right here in your home, in your room. There's things you can you can try to change. I mean, wasn't like Galileo on like house arrest once his life and he still did all these incredible things. I'm just saying you have to make the decision to have confidence in yourself, to not sit still. It's really tempting to stay in our comfort zone. Even when we're uncomfortable in our comfort zone, it's like a known thing. But no, don't hold yourself back. This is also the card of detoxification. So like I said, please, 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 Pisces, drink tons of water, cut those cords, clear your aura out, do what you have to do, guys, because when we're in that like limbo emotional state, like should I, you know, oh, we get lethargic or you might feel it like heavy or stomach hurts or head hurts or back hurts. Detox yourself out. The magician card. These are successful new beginnings, Pisces. You got it. You can freaking do it, but you got to take that step. The universe can provide you the people, the opportunities, the means, but it can't move your feet. <laughs> you got to do that part. But it's amazing because the moment you start moving, Things are going to magically appear. So stop worrying about the freaking house. How many how many great masters and teachers have told us this through the ages? So they will, how is this going to happen? Stop. Focus on your mission, your end result. Just walk towards it. The universe will provide it as you go. The Page of Cups. Again, this is about socializing in close-knit circles. I don't mean you have to do it in physicality, but this is about connecting with like-minded people. The Page of Cups are other people, soulmates. And soulmates aren't always romantic. They can be platonic collaborators, business partners, you know, people that share the same vision, drive, they get you. You guys get each other. You have the two the two of wands and you're not going to do this next step alone, Pisces. You're going to bring incredible minded, intuitive, creative ass, good communicative people to really get this going. You have the strength card. You have to have faith in yourself. Pisces, have faith in yourself and your abilities. Don't think, well, I'm just one person. Really? Like everything, every brick in a wall, in a home, to a structure is integral to the foundation, to its its, its stability. And I always think of Mulan, the, you know, the cartoon, it only takes one grain of rice to tip the scale. I always think this is what it is. Forgive yourself. Stop. Don't stop criticizing yourself. Don't compare yourself. None of that BS, okay? You can do this. The chariot, the, whatever, even this is coming out as a passion project, um, a humanitarian project, whatever this idea is, it's going to be a business. You're going to move forward. You're going to move up. You guys are going to be recognized for your work, not just by your peers, by your community, by your niche. Forward, up, advancement, change your life. This is your life purpose. Part of your life purpose. Archangel Shamuel helps you with that. This is about these revelations. You might think like, well, how is this little thing going to be this? <sighs> Sometimes, you know, it's like this little thing isn't all it's going to be. This is just the beginning, the beginning of this great change, of this great move of your life. The first, the first step on this long, gorgeous journey and path, guys, and you have to break free of procrastination. You have to stop holding yourself back. You have to be confident. Go for it. Spread your wings. Bite off more than you can chew. You can absolutely do it because there's going to be opportunities that are going to provide you or they're going to present themselves. And even if you're nervous or unsure, you take it anyways. You'll figure it out. You'll run with it, Pisces. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. Thank you for whatever it is you guys are doing. If you like a more in-depth reading, guidance, or even a distance healing session, a soul reading session, my link is down below. And there's that free link for the cord cutting and clearing, guys. Just get it done. It's incredible. You don't have to put a word for it. Try it out. Otherwise, guys, I will see you next week. Take care and stay safe. I'll see you next week for next week's readings. Take care.